Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another Isotope Ozone tutorial. Today we're checking out the Dynamic EQ. Dynamic EQs have all of the typical controls that you'd see in equalizers, but each band also has Dynamics controls. So basically, each of the six bands in the Dynamic EQ have a compressor expander on them. I find this great for EQing mix buses and on the master. Typical static EQs are fine for individual tracks, but on mix buses and on the master, they tend to add too much of a washy sound when you boost the high end and can sound filtered out and dead when you cut frequencies. Trying to give the mix an overall bass boost that doesn't just sound like a flood of low end sub is also problematic with static EQs. So I find the dynamic EQ the perfect solution to maintain dynamics in your song while boosting desired frequencies and reducing unwanted frequencies. All right, so let me do a quick tutorial on the dynamic EQ and then I'll apply it to my whole mix. So you've got six bands. Each one can be a high or low back sandal shelf that you can boost or cut. There's a band shelf, which I find helpful when you want to boost or cut a wider range of frequencies. There's also a peak bell and proportional cue shape. For each band, you can grab the band number up here and boost or cut the band. And the horizontal slider controls the cue or bandwidth of the band. You can also make the dynamic EQ an analog modeling minimum phase EQ or a digital linear phase EQ. For a full explanation of what that means, go back and watch part two of this series where I explain that in detail. But in short, analog will have more phase interactions between bands, therefore coloring the tone a bit. Linear phase will be more transparent and is typically used for mastering. Okay, so up to this point, everything I've said is no different than the controls on most EQs. What makes this a dynamic EQ is that each band also has a compressor on it. So as the signal of the band passes this threshold, the amount of boost on our band is reduced. So at the threshold all the way up at zero, you're getting the most amount of boost on the band. Likewise, if you cut the band and your threshold is at zero, you get no cut at all. But when you pull down the threshold, you'll see the signal begins to get cut. The opposite happens when you click the inverse mode option over here. What was previously a compressor on the band is now an expander. So instead of reducing the volume of the band, it now increases as the signal crosses the threshold. So now when I boost the band, I get nothing until the band crosses the threshold. And when cutting the band, the cut moves upward as it crosses the threshold. So again, with inverse mode off, it's all about compressing the band. With inverse mode on, it's all about expanding the band. A great thing that this EQ does is it automatically increases the attack and release time as you go up and decreases it as you go down. However, if you want to customize your attack and release, you can do that too. And like other ozone modules, you can process in stereo and mid-side, or even process the left and right channels individually. So what I want to do with my master is boost the low end, cut the sludgy low mid-range, boost the mid-range to bring out the guitar, boost around 1 to 2k to bring out the vocals, cut the mid-highs a bit to get rid of what I call the megaphone range, and boost the upper high end to bring out the cymbal crashes a bit more. So I'm boosting a lot of the lows and mids because the original is a bit shrill sounding, especially in the guitars. With Ozone's auto loudness matching on, this will really help to keep the same loudness level overall, but bring a bit more warmth and richness to the mix. The EQ may look like drastic changes here, but audibly it's a subtle effect.
So don't be afraid to use some more extreme boosts and cuts of the dynamic EQ. Don't look at the shaded colored areas. Look at the white line to show you the boost and cut as the song plays. All right, so that's the dynamic EQ and isotope ozone. If you'd like to work along with me or just have some extra multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with, this same multi-track logic session is available for download in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.